Hi everybody, Macy here. So there are officially a hundred days until VidCon, and since VidCon is quickly approaching, I decided to compile a list of things that you should know and do before you step foot in the Anaheim Convention Center. Whether you're watching this months ahead of time, or if you are just watching this the day before, just don't stress out. Just keep watching this video, and in no time you will be a YouTuber convention pro. Since I am assuming that this video will be pretty long, you can definitely skip over to certain parts of the video if you need information on those specific topics. The times will be in the description box below, so you can definitely go skip it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you're going to VidCon or any kind of YouTuber convention this year. I will now stop talking and we can get on to the video. First off, you need to make a list of things of what you need to bring at VidCon. It's imperative that you make a list because you do not want to forget anything. Besides the things that you would need for your hotel, some of my essentials while walking around VidCon include at least one portable charger, mainly because your phone is definitely going to die at one point in time. Your phone charger, because how else would you be able to charge your phone if it's at 5%? At least two Sharpies, one being black and the other one being metallic, like some kind of gold or silver. So then you can just flip it out and have your favorite YouTuber sign like your badge or whatever object you want them to sign. Definitely some kind of bottled water, whether it's in a plastic, conta plastic container or just any kind of water bottle in general that you can fit in your bag. At least $50 or more in cash. You may think that this is ridiculous, and it kind of is, but being at VidCon, everything is just higher priced, and when it comes to the food and the merch, it's just really expensive, especially the merch. Do bring your camera if you decide to go vlogging at one point in time, because VidCon is a great place to do it. Do bring some snacks when you're at VidCon because everything there is pretty much expensive. Obviously, you need to bring your phone with you, whether it's to take selfies or just to know the whereabouts of like other YouTubers, but I'm sure I didn't have to tell you that. Last but not least, you will need your badge. This is your ticket to the event. Do not lose it. Keep it around your neck at all times and you will be fine. So you should have all of these in your bag. As for me, I used a messenger bag because I didn't really want to use a backpack because it would be too big or a tiny purse because I feel like it just wouldn't fit all of my things. VidCon does give away a drawstring bag just like this but I don't recommend using it because it's basically the same thing that everyone has and since everyone has it, they're more likely to use it. You might lose your stuff, especially if you don't label your name on it and since they all do look the same, you might just mix them up. I do apologize for the light situation if you notice that the lighting is just changing constantly. I mean, LA is kind of being bipolar today and sometimes it'll be cloudy and sometimes it'll be sunny, so... Number two, definitely know who is going to be attending VidCon. Assuming you're like me, you're basically unfamiliar with at least half of the people on the featured creators list for VidCon. I do suggest that you check the featured creators list and at least familiarize yourself with a majority of them so at least you have an understanding of who will be going and what their content is about. This kind of helps you appreciate the fact that you were in their presence, especially if you just started liking the certain YouTuber and once you're at VidCon, you can kind of enjoy it more rather than finding out who they are after VidCon and then having to realize that you have to wait another year before you can meet them again. Number three, social media. The top social media apps that you should have on your phone is Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. If you don't have them on your phone, please download them immediately because they are your ticket to finding your favorite YouTubers. As for Twitter, I definitely recommend that you follow some VidCon update accounts. Some of them are up here, up here, on here, yeah. And they are basically the reason why I met half of the YouTubers that I've met. <laughs> also, you should follow your favorite YouTubers on Twitter. 
have their notifications on because some of them may be doing some kind of little meet and greet or a secret meet and greet at like certain booths or outside the convention center. So definitely keep the lookout for that. As for Instagram, I know VidCon did some kind of competition or contest last year where you posted something about VidCon with, according to like some kind of hashtag and VidCon would be choosing, I think it was like for HGTV, but one of them would be choosing winners for that certain day and if you won, you would get an extra meet and greet ticket wristband of your choice. As for Snapchat, you should definitely follow all of your favorites on there. Most of them will probably be Snapchatting the whole time, so if you're familiar with their background, it'll be easier to locate them, as weird and creepy as that sounds. Number four, what to wear. In California, it is super hot in the summer, and I hope you're okay with sweating because that's basically what you're gonna be doing the whole time. If I remember correctly, I believe the weather was in the high 80s to low 90s, and as for my outfits, I wore these three. On the first day, I wore a short sleeve shirt and shorts. On the second day, I wore a white camisole and skirt. And on the third day, I wore a mint sleeveless camisole and skinny jeans. As for shoes, it is imperative that you wear comfortable shoes. Last year, I wore running shoes because that was what was comfortable for me, and I knew it wouldn't show up in my pictures anyway, so it didn't really matter. But for you, you may want to wear some kind of boots or Converse or Vans, some kind of tennis shoes, like whatever you feel would be comfortable after walking for a really long time. Number five, taking selfies and pictures. Make sure your phone and your camera is fully charged by the beginning of the day because you do not want to step into VidCon realizing that you only have 50% on your battery. Also, make sure you have enough space on your phone because you don't want to be taking a picture with your favorite and realize that your phone won't take the picture because you have too many pictures on your phone or you just don't have enough storage. Delete all your unnecessary apps and photos and videos just so you have storage. Rather than just taking pictures, I recommend that you take a video because then you can get a video and a picture at the same time. To do so, just start recording. On the left of the red recording button should be a white circle. Click on that white button as you would when taking a picture. Now you should have a video and a picture without having to screenshot the video. Number six, where to meet YouTubers. Some of these places include Starbucks, the Expo Hall, the booths, outside the convention center, the Hilton, and downtown Disney. I also have a couple more tips to share with you guys that don't really fit into some kind of category, but I thought you should know. Number one, do not mob. Mobbing won't get you anywhere, and even if you do so, you're not going to be able to take a picture with that certain YouTuber because there's just gonna be way too many people and security is just going to stop you. Number two, do not, do not, do not go to VidCon just to meet one YouTuber. Especially if it's a big YouTuber like, let's say, Tyler Oakley or like Jenna Marbles. I'm not entirely sure if they're going at this point, but if they do go, people like them are not going to get out of their hotel. <laughs> The only reason why they would leave their hotel room is either for a meet and greet or a panel. And as sad as that is, that's what's actually happening. The reason why they would do this is because most people would mob them. And I know it occurred to Dan and Phil last year when a lot of fans went to the Hilton and they were mobbed. That's just the sad truth. Again, going off of my previous tip for number three, realize that you will not be able to meet all of your favorite YouTubers. Unless you have a meet and greet wristband for them, you are not guaranteed to meet anybody. And most of the time, I wasn't even able to meet my favorite YouTubers. I wanted to meet Tyler Oakley and Connor Franta when I was at VidCon and I didn't. That's okay because I knew I wasn't going to be able to meet everybody. That's why you should just open your mind and be more aware of other YouTubers. Number four, take advantage of the free things and activities in the convention center. Some people are just so caught up in trying to find and meet their favorite YouTubers, but sometimes you just need to relax and realize that there's so many other booths around you. There are a ton of booths where you can get some free shirts or free things or just you don't have to be so caught up in trying to find favorite YouTubers. You can always like enjoy and try to get pictures with your friends or like take advantage of everything. <laughs> 
And finally, for my last tip, just enjoy the moment. Don't get so caught up in filming every single thing because you don't want to be living off through a screen and just realize that you're in a room full of people who have the same interests as you, who loves YouTube as much as you do, and just absorb it all in and have the time of your life. So that's basically it for this week's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and it helped you prepare for VidCon. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can do so by clicking this button or you can click it if you're on your phone. It's somewhere down there. I don't know which side. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel if you haven't already. The link to that is in the description box below. I try to kind of regularly vlog. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye!